Welcome to Lala's World. Today we will be talking about Windows 10 and exploring some of the key new features and going over the basics of using Windows 10. If you haven't already downloaded the program, expect for it to take a little over an hour and keep in mind the time for downloading may depend on the type of computer you have and for the most of the download you can't really use the computer plus it will restart. So if you're working on something make sure you come to a stopping point. If you don't have that icon on your computer letting you know there's an update, you can go ahead and do a Google search for Windows 10 and click on the Microsoft link. Once you click that, you'll get this screen and go ahead and hit Upgrade Now. Now keep in mind it may change after the 29th just because Windows is free until the 29th. So I can't guarantee exactly what screen will show after the 29th of 2016 in July. What's covered in this video? Windows Hello, Start Menu, Microsoft Edge, which means no more Internet Explorer, Gamers Benefits, Security, Apps, Windows Inc., Multitasking, and Using Windows Across All Devices. Let's get started! Windows Hello is used for unlocking your device with a look or touch. The ability to use Windows Hello does require specialized hardware, including a fingerprint reader, illuminated IR sensor, or some other biometric sensor. Some devices have them installed, others you can purchase. In order to find the setting, you can easily go to the box below and type in Windows Hello. And you, here you can set up face sign in, set up fingerprint sign in, and this will come up once you click the one that you want. And you can personalize the passwords for the sign in options that you want. And you can also do a pin or picture password and customize settings for work access, family access, and other users as well as sync all your settings. At the top, when you click your name, this is where you can change your account settings, sign out, lock, or go to another user. In Windows 10, as you can see, the overall look has changed. It has a more visually appealing layout and a sleeker look, with quicker access to the programs and apps that you use most. You have the option to scroll up or down when you click All Apps. It will pull up all apps on your computer in alphabetical order. And you can scroll through the list to find what you're looking for. In Windows 10, you can also personalize the screen by dragging and dropping your apps where you prefer them to be. And if you run out of space from all your awesome apps, you can expand the start menu horizontally or vertically. With the menu on the right, if you see a program or app with an arrow, you can click that arrow and it will bring up another menu for that app. Some have them and some do not, but the ones that do allow you to have more convenient options with that app or program. When you click in the type box, a different menu comes up. From here, say you're looking for a specific app and don't want to scroll all the way through to find it, you can type in the first letter of what you're looking for and it will populate. The circle on the left brings up Cortana. Once you sign in with your Microsoft account, Cortana can become a personalized assistant to you. And I'm going to go ahead and close this for now. Here in this menu, you can provide feedback, access settings, and the home screen for searching apps, settings, documents, photos, music, and web. Back in this awesome search box, there's another option to literally type in anything you're looking for. For this example, I will type in how to use Excel and it populated, so I'll go ahead and click that. And this will take me to search results for what I typed in my start menu, in addition to searching the web. If you wanted to search for apps on your computer, you can start typing and it will populate. Another way to access is from this menu. You can click on what types of programs you want, for example, apps, and then all the apps on your computer will show up from here and you can click the icons at the top and get documents, folders, photos, videos, music, and search. Let's go back to Cortana. 
This is basically your helpful personal assistant on your device. Once you click Cortana after you've signed in, it will show a section of information that you can customize such as weather, traffic, updates, top news. You can also get facts, set reminders, or update a calendar when you set your Cortana. You can view it across all your Windows 10 devices. There's also a notebook option button and a reminder button. Microsoft Edge needs no more Internet Explorer. The E icon is still there, but instead of Internet Explorer, it's now Microsoft Edge. To access it, you can either click on the E button on the bottom of your desktop or go to the Start menu. There are some pretty cool new features. Let's start by typing in something random. I will type in Mariana Trench and just go to the first site that comes up. Okay, Windows 10, Microsoft Edge, you can select the word or phrase, right click, and then ask Cortana, and it will gather the information and display it within that same window. Now, say you wanted to continue reading this article and didn't have enough time to read it. You can put it in a reading list to access it across your devices wherever you are. You would click the star, and this gives you the option to either save it to favorites or add it to the reading list. You can just click whichever one you'd like, and then once you do that, you click Add. The three-line menu also gives you more options. Right here, we also have some neat little buttons that let you highlight or doodle on the page. You can choose the pen or the highlighter, the color you would like, and then you highlight each section you need. And when you're all done, this button clears all the ink. Now, say you wanted a different color, you can change the color of the highlight. Um, this button allows you to write text in the page. The last button allows you to cut out a section if you only want a specific area. And once you're finished updating the page to your liking, you can go ahead and save it. And add it to favorites or that reading list, or you can share it. And one other cool thing you can do is write on the page. Now for pages that have distracting information on Microsoft Edge uh, all on the sides and it's just lots of clutter, you can choose Reading View. Um, it's not available for all pages. Um, some pages just don't have anything extra to remove. Let's go ahead and exit out of here to show an example of Reading View. Going back to Edge, just click on this article and we're going to see how the view works. Um, basically, when you scroll down to a section that has web page clutter, the reading view icon will allow you to click it and get rid of excess clutter so you can read the one article you were looking at. And if you press it again, it'll return to the original. And you can also easily share what you were reading in your reading view with others. In terms of gamers, now you can play and connect with gamers across Xbox One and Windows 10 devices. Enjoy the freedom to play Xbox anywhere on Windows 10 PC or Xbox One. Uh, once you buy it, you can play it anywhere, including shared progress across devices. In order to find the Xbox on your Windows 10, you can type in Xbox in your text box, and once it comes up, you can just log in with your email that you use to log into your Xbox. In order to access the security features, you can go to the Settings, Update and Security, click Windows Defender, and scroll down to Open. If you have a previous security program installed, you will get a pop-up saying that the app has been turned off. But if you don't, then your Windows Defender will pop up. Windows Defender is built in to Windows 10. There's nothing to buy, nothing to install, no configure, no subscriptions. Um, it's very secure and Windows Defender protects against viruses, malware, spyware, boot time protection, real time protection, cloud based protection, network inspection, and you get free updates for the supported lifetime of Windows 10. 
and you also have the option for Windows updates, backup, recovery, um, and activation for developers. Windows 10 comes with apps that will work across your devices. In the start menu, you have the basic apps that come with the Windows 10 download. But if there are more apps that you want to have, um, you have the option to click the shopping bag with the little window picture on it at the bottom of the screen. And it will take you to the Windows Store where you'll have plenty of options. Here they have it sorted by variety categories including free and paid apps. Um, some of the more popular apps may be Maps, Photos, Mail, Movies and TV, OneDrive. Um, so pretty much you can just scroll around and find exactly what you want or need. At the moment, I just downloaded Windows 10 and I don't have Windows Ink, um, but I did place a screen view. Um, basically, the Windows Ink workspace will only appear if you have an active digital pen attached to your device. Windows Ink is basically designed to help surface owners transform more of those pen and paper tasks to their devices and enhance experiences through Cortana and the other Windows 10 features. Um, you can use the pen, your fingertip, or both, and it pretty much you can edit documents, um, access sticky notes, it just kind of makes things a lot easier. Windows 10 is very multitask friendly. To demonstrate, I'm just going to open a few more programs and minimize them to get them out the way. And to access them, all you have to do is click the three pane button at the bottom and it will allow you to sort through your programs and apps and switch back and forth to what you're working on. One other cool feature is to add another desktop. Say you're working on personal things and work slash business things and want to keep it separate. You can click add new desktop and everything grouped on that desktop that you want, you can switch back and forth if needed. And lastly, another key perk to having Windows 10 is that you can work across multiple devices. Say you have Excel open and you're working on a document with your PC but have to go somewhere and still need to work on that document. With Windows 10, you can just simply open it on your Windows 10 tablet or Windows 10 phone just because it's pretty much streamlined and it goes with you wherever you go. It's pretty straightforward. Well, thank you for watching and I hope this video has been very helpful and introducing you to the basics of Windows 10. Definitely be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. If you have any questions or need me to go in depth about anything or any of these features, definitely let me know down below and also be sure to check out some of the other videos on this channel.